Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch and programmers rejoice for we have a new version of Visual Studio. Yes, Visual Studio 2026 has just been released. Now this is the insiders version. This would replace what they used to previously called preview versions. Uh, but the thing is you can check this out today. Why is that? Well, because you can install this side by side with your other versions of Visual Studio without issue, which is a nice thing. So we're gonna take a look at it today. What is new in Visual Studio 2026, what you can expect and so on. And one of the things they've done here is they've updated the UI. They haven't done a whole lot to it in my humble opinion, but they've added their fluent UI design. So what exactly does that mean? Well, you're going to notice the icons and so on are spaced differently. Let me actually demonstrate that by going side by side. So here we go. This over here, this is Visual Studio 2022 that's been around for a very long time. And I gotta admit, the changes are pretty subtle. They've changed the uh, spacing of fonts. You can also see like the, the scroll bar down here has changed the style that they're using. A Little bit bigger font down here, a little bit more detail available. And then mostly it comes down to little things like icons. So come over here, for example, this there drop down changes that way. Now it's been replaced by a triple dot. Uh, again, a little bit more spacing between icons. Unfortunately, you still can't scale them up, which is infuriating, but there are a couple of other changes. One thing you'll notice if you come up over here, tools, theme, and you've got a couple different options. Well, if you head on over here, you've got a lot more options out of the box, including the incredibly lovely Juicy Plum. I like Juicy Plum. So there you can see new theming functionality as well. Another thing you'll notice here, over here, you just had the theme option. Now you can do something you used to have to go into settings to play around with, and you can theme the editor setting here as well. So let's go switch over to light, for example. And so you can have that separately, or I could come back here and make that back the way that it was intended, which is dark. I actually like dark extra contrast. You can actually see the difference between extra contrast there as well. There are a couple of other major changes as well. One of the big ones here is testing. So you're gonna notice here, looking at that menu, test, you don't have the same settings. So over here, test, you'll now notice you have code analyzer and code coverage results. Now this is true in the community edition. Those used to be locked behind in the enterprise version. So you now have these new code coverage tools, which is quite nice. On top of that, they've also changed this out. So your options are now this way. Whereas before it used to be this throwback window from like 2017, uh, where the settings were done there. So now you've got this new settings window that is embedded in. And the cool thing here is it's also editable as JSON. So at any time I can come in here and we can change out that value. Uh, by the way, you can scroll out this. Unfortunately, you still can't scale out the user interface in Visual Studio, which is insane. I should be able to scale up these icons on a 4K monitor. They're getting pretty tiny, especially as I'm getting pretty old. So that combination doesn't work great. Well, what else do we got? Well, over here, a big part of this release is this. Visual Studio 2022 uh, GitHub Copilot was an add-on, an extension you added. So if you did not want to use it, you did not have to use it. Now what you'll find is Copilot yeah, it's fully integrated. So if you're one of those people that does not like the integration of AI tools, well, you're not going to be happy because Copilot is quite literally built and baked into Visual Studio 2026. Now, if you are a fan of Copilot and AI assistance, etc., you're going to love this because it is fully integrated in. Nice thing is you can actually pick the model that you wish to work with and so on. Another thing that you'll find different between the Copilot versions is this one, the Copilot chat. Uh, so let's open up a chat window there. Uh, your settings over here, you have nothing. Over here, you now have the ability to pick uh, what it can do, but you also have this ability to do profiling. So you can actually have AI uh, look at the performance of your code and give you suggestions there. I gotta admit, that one is straight out a pretty cool new feature. Now, other stuff that's going on here is mostly behind the scenes. So, um, oops, wrong button press. Uh, so again, you do have this uh, updated UI and so on, but the other thing that you're supposed to see is faster startup times, more efficient usage of resources. And then we've also got uh, behind the scenes, so your projects, etc. you have um, Visual Studio, uh, sorry, uh, .NET 14 and C Sharp 10 are included out of the box. Uh, those are also still in development, so they've not been fully released yet, but they are included here as well. Uh, again, this will run entirely side by side, which is definitely a nice thing. Um, yeah, I think that's it for the hands-on portion here. Let's go head on over. By the way, you can check out what's new also here. So uh, help, what's new? 
Now, sadly, I don't seem to be able to actually expand this to illustrate. So we're going to go to the website in just a second. Well, we've got new features like adaptive pace. Again, co-pilot features, co-pilot features, co-pilot features. So co-pilot is a big part of it. Mermaid chart rendering is there. Again, profiler, uh, the co-pilot agent sounds pretty cool. It analyzes performance, suggests fixes, and helps you iterate fast. That one I do legit like. Uh, Benchmark.net project template is in there. Uh, CMake improvements, better search tools. Um, again, a lot more co-pilot stuff there. The settings have updated. Uh, faster, more reliable Razor Hot Reloading. .NET 10, C Sharp uh, 14. Class view improvements. So substring search in class views and so on. So some nice things there, but not really game changers in my opinion. So here we are on the release site. One of those things you're going to notice, they call this the Visual Studios Insider. So there's nothing exclusive about it. You don't need to sign up for it. It's not a special track. Literally, you just come here and to download it. So if you want to check that out, you can. So what features are they focusing on? Well, this will come as a shock to absolutely none of you. The very first highlighted feature of Visual Studio 2026 is, of course, Copilot. It's just... It's just Copilot. Uh, and then user interface, and then bringing your ideas to life. So Copilot, deeply integrated. Um, yeah, it, it's built throughout, uh, less friction, not needing separate tools and so on. Uh, and then on top of that, one of the things that's very nice here is you can actually use this side by side, as I mentioned earlier on, with Visual Studio. But on top of that, it actually, or Visual Studio 2022, that is, but on top of that, they actually still have extensions available here from the 2022 extension. So here, for example, I always install font sizer, which enables you to actually scale up the menus and so on. So if you're an old fart like me and your eyes don't work, install font sizer. It's a wonderful add-on. So it is available. So all of the old Visual Studio um, 2022 stuff is available, as are your settings. So you can actually bring your settings from 2022 up to 2026, no problems at all. So if you want to go ahead and check this one out, it should work perfectly side by side. It should transition your settings over and it extensions should all work, which again, should make adoption a lot easier. You can actually, again, I don't normally recommend installing, you know, very early versions, but this one, it seems to be an exception in that regard. Um, and then again, they're highlighting their fluent design with their updated icons, subtle UI improvements throughout. It's very subtle. I, I actually think Visual Studio needs like a completely new user interface. For one, I would love to see it scale up. But again, they've done a bit of a facelift. You can see it on the way scroll bars work, on the way icons are spaced, on the way fonts are faced, and so on. Fluent design is now part of Visual Studio. I'm curious, let me know in the comments down below, do you find a big difference in this new version, like aesthetically, or do you find it kind of just lipstick on a pig? I'd be curious, let me know that in the comments down below. And then of course, we've got the other stuff there, the um, C Sharp, uh, 14 as part of .NET is there, um, and then uh, C++ 26 is in there, and so on. So all of that is there. Again, .NET 10 is a big part of this. .NET 10 will also be released outside of this, so you, if you're using, say, Visual Studio Code, you can easily use .NET 10 as well, but .NET 10 is part of this release as well, so basically came out uh, late last month. But this version of a Visual Studio 2026 ships with .NET 10, so you can get going now. That includes things like, again, C Sharp 14, F Sharp has been updated as well, and hey, Visual Basic .NET still around, amazingly enough. So that's, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That is Visual Studio 2026 Insiders. Once again, takeaway, you can run this um, side by side. Nothing to fear. You can go ahead and install this, start using it. I don't know if I would import a major project over to it quite yet, but um, in theory, you should be able to. And then again, we've got this new themes. I do like this. It's been split out. It's no longer hidden away in, in the settings. I do like the updated settings options. I do like this for sure. I like the fact that you can edit them with JSON. Um, and I like the themes, even though some of these, uh, eye warning alert, some of these are really, really bad, such as this one right here. And on that eye searingly bad theme, uh, let me know what you think of Visual Studio 2026. Are you going to check this release out or have you already? And what do you think? I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.